I've been saying for weeks now that I'm the uncrowned champion around this place. And they say, to be the man, you gotta beat the man. Well, I already beat the man. And I beat every other man they put in front of me. So after tonight, I'm walking out with my crown on. Accepting the challenge. This is a special challenge match. Harker Dirge originally scheduled to go up against Travis Weir in a blindfold match, but Weir suffering an injury, a non-related injury. He has gone through surgery and he's done well. We'll expect to see him eventually back in the ring, but it's going to take a while. In the meantime, Harker Dirge has got a different type of big man in there. Big Frank Wyatt. Into the ropes goes Dirge. Comes out. Picked up. Mind slam very quickly on the back. And uh, Dirge rolls out of the way. It looks like that's the last time we saw Frank Wyatt in the UWC ring. He uh, may have uh, dropped a few. You see Harker Dirge. Yes, uh, lower part of his back. And Frank Wyatt accepting the challenge off the ropes. Swing and a miss by Wyatt. Comes off another swing and a miss. And flying shoulder block and Wyatt goes down this time. And now it's Wyatt in the corner. And the crowd calls back. Wyatt. His chance to go out here against Harker Dirge. Accepting the challenge. In this special match, we'll see how things work out. Dirge, very strong man. I would think in pure strength, I'd probably give the edge to Wyatt. Certainly an experience to Dirge, but Wyatt has been around a while. Now a ringer. And now bends that elbow back, gets some extra pressure on the wrist. And fires off with a straight elbow and then goes to the side headlock. Wyatt working the side, headlock now right in the middle of the ring. No chance to get to the ropes even if Dirge was going to. Now, can you see Dirge trying to get some extra leverage one way or another? Try to turn this into an offensive move. You see him trying to counter and power his way out by going down to one knee and using a, a better balance against Wyatt. And whoa, wait a second there, Wyatt. Grabbed the hair and pulled him right back into it. That's a little surprising. From Wyatt. Now yeah, Wyatt again powering him right back down to his knee. And Wyatt going down with him trying to add some extra pressure onto the neck and head area. And that upper back which he already injured. Dirge is in there. He's taking some damage here. But he's also thinking trying a way to counter his way out. Now turning into it. And again, back to the hair goes Frank Wyatt. Now, I'm a little surprised by that from Frank Wyatt, but when you're in the ring with Harker Dirge, you do what you can. And up. Up, up again. And. Lock. 
Referee is right there. Make sure it and down goes Frank Wyatt. And that, oh wow, that, that was particularly nasty. Right on the elbow. Bit that wrist back. And now he's got Dirge a little angry. A little hair pulling thing. A big chop right in the middle of the forehead. That could split a man wide open. Double chop, another chop. And to the ropes. Dirge with a couple of boots to the midsection. And far ropes. Back in with the knee. Or I'm sure the uh, foot. And gonna try to roll him up. One, two, no. Dirge has got to use his speed against Wyatt. Usually it's Dirge that is the stronger competitor of the two, but this time he's going to have to use his speed and his wiles in the ring against the big man. And oh, no, 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 no. Dirge holds on to that beard, and as a bearded fellow myself, I can tell you that was painful. No, no, he does it again. And oh, up and down. Oh, that's what power will do for you. He just powered his way out of it with a quick suplex. And now Dirge is on the mat. And it throws him back down. Headbutt to that shoulder area. And did a little damage to himself. Quick cover for Wyatt. That's a big man to have to move off of you, but Dirge is able to do it. And you can see he trapped his arms underneath and that makes it double tough to kick out actually. And now gonna work back again on that neck. Trying to wear down Dirge. Harker Dirge making his way up, turning to his left. Toward the weaker arm of the two on the left side. Now he fires the shot to the guy. That's another one. Comes off. Whoop. Boot gets caught. And, a... and kick puts the big man down. But again, that also puts Dirge down. And Dirge is going to make his way to the ropes. Dirge didn't have any idea who he was going to wrestle. Could have been a high flyer. Could have been a ground and pounder. He got the biggest man to the bunch. And now just runs him over, does Wyatt. And uh, he could have hit his head there on the mat. Oh, leg drop by Wyatt. And Dirge could have uh, knocked himself silly with that. And now he just rolls himself out. That was pretty close. You got to remember when these wrestlers or boxers or MMA fighters go down, if they hit their head on the mat, that's a, as concussive a shot as any. I've seen wrestlers get themselves knocked out by trying to get away from shots. Parker Dirge fighting his way back, but again, in control. Gut wrench, gut wrench. Well done, planted him. And it is Frank Wyatt. Drops a quick elbow and a cover. One, two, Ooh. whoa, that was very, very close. That was very close. This has been a good effort by Frank Wyatt in his first match back. Getting a little frustrated. Now he's got Harker Dirge in the corner. Ooh, that could have been deadly. Dirge takes him up to that second rope. Could this be the rocket ride? Yes, it is. He got him down. He got him down. The big man is down. Is Dirge going to be able to go over for the cover? Both wrestlers came down a little more awkwardly than I imagined he wanted. Referee's at the two count. And again, but well, the four count, making his way to the ropes. And grabbing that top rope is Wyatt. Wyatt and Dirge. Parker makes his way up. The crowd getting behind him. Lands a right hand. And a right hand by Wyatt. Parker lands a right. Big Frank loads up and rams a right. Right in the square middle of the forehead. Oh, quick jab. Left jab, right hook. Right hook. Another right to the top of the head. Kick to the gut. Coming off the ropes. And a big knee lift. And the big man still doesn't go down. Comes off. Flying forearm. The big man doesn't go down. Tries again this time. This time White came in on Dirge. Caught him possibly a little low. Now Dirge going into the ropes. Nope. Doesn't get him. And oh! sleeper hold. He's got a sleeper hold. He's got the sleeper on the big man. That's going to be tough to keep. Oh, he's got him down to one. Got him down to one. 
That could be it. He's not going to make it to the ropes. He's not going to make it to the ropes. Referee is in there. This could be all. This could be it. One. That's it. He's got him. He's put him out with a sleeper hold. And that one, I can tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. That is a great win for Harker Dirge. But I also say quite probably a tribute to a man that we found out today passed away. The one and only legendary Roddy Piper. Put away many people with that sleeper hold. And Harker Dirge is victorious in a rough match against the returning Frank Wyatt. Harker Dirge wins here on The Heat Is On, and you're watching UWC Wrestling.